10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Really, really fun. The whole experience? I think this is awesome. I thought it was a lot of fun. Like, everything's hands on. I've seen my dad use all the tools. My dad has it, but I was never actually able to do it. And it was fun. Like, it gave me experience. Like, I never built anything in my life. Wait, are we talking about, like, the fab lab coming here? <laughs> <laughs> What do you do? What do you do? What do you, what do, you do? do? And when he told me what he did, I wanted to know how I'd get my students to be in his fab Because it started about three years ago when I was talking to Chris Lincoln. I said, uh, you know, I'm going to pick up on that. He opened the door and I asked when we could come. And, and she he... started to think, wow, you know, that would be something that I think that my students could really benefit from. I didn't want to use it that way. I loved it. I'm going to try and use it in my lab. I'll probably use it in some of my lab because I think it's a different way of learning and a lot of people don't realize that. <laughs> They have to actually use critical and creative thinking to solve problems. I think it's priceless. A lot of our students come out of high school um, with no skills about collaborating or problem solving or risk taking. Uh, in the fab lab, it's safe to take risks. That environment is one that I can't provide in the classroom. We can instill tactile and experiential learning, and we can do it in such a way that will change the teacher's mindset so that they can go out and impart that same thing to their students. The day turns to the night. <laughs> I just feel like I can have an impact on anybody's life in younger years and like the more crucial years. I love children and I want them to learn. I want them to understand everything. We really have this overarching philosophy of using art to learn and the Fab Lab really fits into that. I think there definitely needs to be more like of the Fab Lab and just art in schools in general. So everyone like isn't the same. So we have, I guess, a more diverse and exciting world. They're going to get problem-based so learning language. and at the same time, the entrepreneurial mindset, changing the way that they think about what they can achieve. And once they do that, they'll be able to change the mindset of their students, which will enhance success. I am an early childhood major and I just built a tongue drum. Make something. Be inspired.